All right, welcome to my How Is It Reactive video. So in this episode, we're covering a very special item, a first of its kind, a reactive contrail. So as you can see, on page five of the Battle Pass, we have the Inversion Contrail. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't have a set when we look at it. You can see all it says is darkness and light. That's the description. But it is on the page that the Joey skin is on as well. So I don't know if it's supposed to be his or if it was just randomly placed here. But like I said, there's no set. It's not really associated with Joey. As you can see here, he's actually in the Inner Vision set. So for some reason, this is completely on its own. Now, when we look in the locker here, it doesn't actually say reactive. The only way we know it's reactive is that it gives a little hint on the battle pass screen. So you can see on the right, it says visual effects match the island's time of day. So I guess we can consider this secretly reactive because it doesn't actually say reactive. So technically it is quote, secretly reactive. So let's hop into a match and I'll show you the daylight effects as well as the nighttime effects. It started transitioning before it was even fully nighttime. So this is the darkness effect. You can see his hands turn purple. It's almost like a galaxy effect on the top. Either a dark glyph or a dark series or a galaxy effect. And that's towards the upper part. And then nearer the hands, you've got that nice light blue color. So that's pretty cool. You can see it reflects onto his arms as well. They kind of turn purple. And then when we deploy, obviously it goes away. And when we redeploy, it comes back. So it's got a nice after image effect there. You can see little trickles of blue trickling up there. That's not bad. But the hands, for sure, turn almost an x-ray purple. I definitely think it's supposed to be a galaxy-like effect because in that dark purple, you can almost see the galaxy stuff. So very dark themed in the nighttime. What the heck? I just landed right on that ship. He did not appreciate that. So now we're going to wait until the daytime and we'll see if we can get it to transition as we're there dropping. There it goes. There it goes. It's starting to get brighter. No, we're almost all the way down. No, let me respawn real quick. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Wow. So that gets real bright. So now our hands are on fire and we've got a rainbow effect coming up. Look at that. So it completely loses that galaxy effect. And it goes from dark series to rainbow and fire. Look at the hands on that. That is so bright. So that is actually kind of cool. A reactive contrail. Now the problem with this is you never know what you're going to get when you go into a match. So if you plan for a combo with the darkness effect and it's daylight, then you've got this rainbow and fire appearance that probably won't match what you want. You obviously can't dictate what time it's going to be when you drop. Now the other drawback is how often do you actually get to see the contrail? With launch pads being reintroduced into the game, that does give you another chance to see it. But other than that, you're only going to see it when you drop into the match. And like I said, it's hard to predict what you're going to get. So if you don't care about your contrail, then this one's a great one to run because essentially it's two in one, which is way cool. I wonder who this is truly intended for though. Like I said, I thought it was for Joey because it's on his page, but it doesn't match his actual set. So there you go. That is the awesome inversion contrail, the first of its kind. I hope we get more of these in the future. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supported creator code, which is TaperTime. That guy just got yeeted into the ocean.